Under the Commonwealth of Learning's Literacy Project, eight learning centers in India and three primary and 20 sub-centers in Zambia were established where learners could access a variety of information tools and technologies and demonstrates how such centers can aid in literacy education. Commonwealth of Learning's Media Empowerment Program establishes community-based radio stations and low-cost video production that stress both local participation and transfer of knowledge and skills. Over the last few years, Commonwealth of Learning has significantly expanded its website and electronic publishing program. It is now recognized as one of the world's foremost sources of knowledge on open, distance, and technology-mediated learning and applications in developing countries. Commonwealth of Learning's publications are also available on a CD-ROM. To help in the task of locating reliable information on open and distance learning for policymakers, Commonwealth of Learning created the Knowledge Finder in 2002, which is the optimum technological tool for mining and refining the resource base of open and distance learning information repositories available throughout the internet. To further enhance the ability of Commonwealth citizens to make effective use of open and distance learning, Commonwealth of Learning hosts a pan-Commonwealth forum on open learning in partnership with regional associations and governments. In 2002, the forum was held in Durban, South Africa, in association with the National Association of Distance Education Organizations of South Africa and the South African Department of Education in Durban. The 2004 forum was held in Dunedin, New Zealand, co-hosted with the Distance Education Association of New Zealand and the Government of New Zealand. Though the range of experiences gained over the last 15 years were varied and numerous, it also presented a paradox at the same time. The challenge for many Commonwealth countries today is not only the availability of resources, but also better application of the resources that made planners think hard to take stock, chart a new path, and reorient, all once again to make sure that people get what they really need and the arithmetic lay in achieving the most essential goals by planning and implementation of activities in more sharper a manner with a focus emerging out of the United Nations Millennium Development Goals particularly focused on education and poverty alleviation. In the context of education for all, Commonwealth of Learning is addressing this through its work in developing training programs for teachers who would not otherwise be able to upgrade their skills and through open schooling programs for disadvantaged youth. And that is exactly why Commonwealth of Learning's three-year plan for 2003 to 2006 is driven by three distinct programs. The first, continuing Commonwealth of Learning's advocacy world stage work in influencing leaders and otherwise fostering the adoption and implementation of educational and human resource development policies that embrace open and distance learning. The other two program areas, ODL systems and ODL applications, are fashioned to help enhance existing capacity and create the means to meet new challenges and accelerate human resource development in Commonwealth countries to respond to changing circumstances. In the final analysis, the seed that was the belief, if carefully nurtured, would help Commonwealth peoples play an important role as a member of the global society. <laughs>